let's talk about my experience with TSA today, shall we? So I have been trying to get on this flight since Wednesday. And on Wednesday, my flight was canceled due to weather, due to snow. I was trying to get there for New Year's Eve, but I was unable to. And so I was rebooked till today on Sunday. This morning I go to check into my flight and my flight's not there, it doesn't exist. I didn't get an email notifying me of what happened. I didn't get a cancellation email. I didn't get a rebooking email. My flight just disappeared. So I go to check in and it shows me four different flights. It shows me my original flight on Wednesday, my original flight for today. And then it shows me a flight tomorrow at 6 a.m. going to San Francisco and then Boise and you know, all these places to try to finally get to my destination. And I was like, wait, what's going on? So I try to call, you know, the agent for help and I couldn't. So I was on hold from 10 a.m. this morning all the way until now. And it's now, it's now like 6.30 p.m. So after all day of waiting, I finally just go to the airport and I do a lot of my own research and find out my flight is canceled. So I just show up at the airport anyway because I need to get a flight, you know, I'm like five days past my original flight day. And I was like, hey, I need a flight, like get me there. I finally get a flight at 6.30 today. And so I get the flight, I run to security, I get there and I go in the TSA pre-check line because I pre-check and I was unable to do pre-check. He looks at me and he's like, you have to go through the normal screening. And I was like, what are you talking about? I pre-check and he's like, no, you don't. And I was like, they didn't transfer over my known traveler number from one flight to the next. So I had to either go back down to the agent and wait in line again. And I was like, I don't have time. My flight is in a half hour. So I go through normal screening, which is very anxiety ridden because I'm transgender. And then I wait in line, which takes forever, but I finally get through. I opt out of going through the full body scanner for a pat down. And the woman who pats me down was so lovely. So shout out to Joan. Thank you for being so polite and so kind. Um, she has some family members who are transgender. So she was super respectful, understood everything, got me in and out very quickly and efficiently. And we hugged each other. It was very sweet. And then I run to my gate and I get there three minutes before my flight and the door is closed. And I turn to the agent and I'm like, can I get on this flight? And she's like, I'm sorry, we just closed the doors. They're gone. And I was like, can you open the door? Like, I'm here. Like, I've been trying to get on a flight for days. And she was like, no, I'm sorry. And I was like, okay, well then what do I do? And she was like, well, we have an 8.30 flight tonight. And I was like, you have an 8.30 direct flight tonight? Like, get me on that plane. And she was like, there's one seat left. And I was like, get me on it. So I'm here, I got my drink and I am hopefully gonna make this flight tonight. So here's to nice TSA agents to a lesson in patience. <laughs> I hope your travels this week are better than mine.